Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to define a model in RAM concept. In this first video, we're going to give you an introduction to RAM concept and show you how to start creating a model geometry. RAM concept is an analysis and design program that uses finite element analysis to design several types of elevated concrete floor systems and mat foundations. We can design post-tension concrete slabs, reinforced concrete slabs, or also a hybrid system. To begin this training, we're going to be starting by creating a new file in RAM concept. If you go to the icon on your desktop, you can simply double click to launch the product. Upon entering RAM concept, you're going to be asked if you would like to invoke the post tensioning license. If you plan to be designing a post tension slab, you can go ahead and select this checkbox. Otherwise, you can keep it off for today's training. Our first step is to create a new project. We're going to go up to our file menu bar item and then select new. When starting a new file, you will be immediately specifying whether or not you want to design an elevated floor system or mat foundation and which design code and units you plan to be using. For this training, we're going to be modeling an elevated floor system and we're going to be using the ACI 31811 for the US units. Now, if we select a mat foundation, RAM concept would set up our file to include reports specific to foundations, such as soil bearing pressure plots. These reports are not created for an elevated slab if that is chosen. Likewise, if an elevated slab is selected, your reaction plans are going to be created, which is not necessarily available for mat foundations. Upon selecting your code and units and your structure type, we'll go ahead and click OK. Now that we've created a new file, we're going to go ahead and also save this file. Now before we start creating any model geometry in RAM concept, let's few, first go over a few basic principles of the program. The first is our layers menu item. Now in RAM concept, a model is built by graphically laying out the objects that make up the structural model. To organize the many objects involved in modeling a structure, collections of related objects are contained in several different layers. Our first layer is our drawing input layer. This will contain imported CAD drawing information. Next, you will find your mesh input layer. This will contain objects that define the geometry of the structure. After that will be our element layer. This will contain the finite element objects generated from the information entered on the mesh input layer. Following that, you have a series of layers within the loading folder, and this will contain all the information that define the loads on the structure. Next, we have our pattern layers, which contain the load patterns of the structure. This is the way that RAM concept will perform skip loading around columns. Next, we have our load combinations. This will contain the load combination analysis results. After that, you'll find your design strip layer, which contains the design strips, design sections, and the punching shear checks for your model. After that, we'll find our reinforcement layer, which will contain the layout of the reinforcement. We have two different pre-stressing layers, or groups of layers, for each direction. And this will contain the layout of your post-tensioning tendons and any jacks if applicable. After that is your rule set design, which will contain the rule set design results for the analysis and design. We have our load history deflection layers, which contain the results of the load history analysis. The vibration layer, which contains vibrational related analysis results. And also your design status layers, which will contain the status of your design results. Now each object or piece of information defining the structure resides in only one layer in RAM concept. If you would like to view other items from different layers, you can turn them on at any time using your visible objects icon. Before starting to model your structure, you should review the model criteria and modify it as required. All of the model criteria is available through the criteria menu at the top of the screen. The first set of criteria will be the units 
criteria. Now RAM concept allows you to work in three different unit systems, US or Imperial units, SI or metric units, and the MKS units, which is metric using mass rather than weight. After choosing which system you will work in, you can also change the defaults within that system. The next set of criteria is the sign criteria. Now RAM concept will allow you to change the default sign convention. For example, to change the positive loads from downward to upward, you can click on the arrows illustrating this and you will see the arrows change in direction. You will also be able to see where positive reactions are and what your global X, Y, and Z axis is. Now for RAM concept, your default vertical axis will be your Z axis. The next set of criteria we will find is our material criteria. RAM concept has a library of standard materials including concrete mixes, post-tensioning systems, and reinforcement bars. You can add, edit, and delete materials through the material criteria. Next up is our loading criteria. RAM concept provides default loading criteria or load cases when a file is created. You can add or delete these loadings through the loading criteria. Next is the load combination criteria. RAM concept generates load combinations according to the concrete design code that you selected when you created your file. You can review, add, or edit the load combinations through the load combination criteria. Now if you modify the loading criteria, say for example you add an additional load case that wasn't in the model when the model was created, you will need to rebuild your load combinations which can be also done through the criteria menu. RAM concept will not automatically rebuild load combinations when lo new load cases are added or deleted. To get to that command we would just go to criteria followed by rebuild load combos. The next set of criteria we should review is our design rules. Now depending upon the concrete design code selected, the design rule criteria will indicate the code provision required for each design check, including the type of load combination applicable. Adding a new rule set will allow you to separate the results for different load combinations with the same rule set design. Next up is our detailing rules criteria. Span detailing included includes the calculations to be performed to determine the peak reinforcement requirements in a region and extending that bar based upon code provisions or user-defined reinforcement requirements. Finally, we will find our load history criteria. RAM concept can calculate load history deflections to incorporate the effects of creep, shrinkage, and cracking and tension stiffening. The load history calculation can include any sequence of specified load for any duration. If you are satisfied with all the criteria, you're going to notice it's going to pop up in our main view window. And any of these criteria you can close at any time just by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner of the tabbed area. When you're ready to start creating your structural objects, you're going to go up to your layers menu and navigate to your mesh input standard plan. Now before we start modeling some elements, let's first go over some important areas within the graphical user interface. The first area you'll find is your standard toolbar. This contains your typical commands such as generate mesh, calculate all, and visible objects. Next you have the menu bar. This will contain a series of menus available. Most commands in the menus are also available on the toolbar or in the reports window. Next you have your action tools. These will be used to manipulate the current view. We also have a snap toolbar. This will be used to set coordinate snaps for the active window. Next you have your general tools, which are used to edit the active window. These tools are available in every window and contain commands to stretch, move, rotate, and mirror whatever object is on the layer you're working on. There are also tools to dimension and add text notes, which will not have any effect on the analysis. Below that, you have your layer-specific tools. These are used to edit the active window. These tools will change depending upon what layer is currently active. The Reports section window, located at the left-hand side of your screen, lists the layers available, the corresponding plans and perspectives, and the, all the information that will be contained in the report. 
To select a layer, you can either use the Layers menu bar item or double click on the layer in the Report Sections window. In the center of your screen, you have your active window. This contains the graphical display area of the active layer. Layers which are opened but inactive are indicated in the tabs at the top of the active window for easily toggling. At the bottom of the screen, you have your command prompt. This will be used to display instructions and indicate the current cursor location. In RAM concept, we have several different ways for which you can start your model. The first thing we're going to think about is where our elements are going to be located and if we could use any of the tools within RAM concept provide an accurate model for us. The first of these options is to create a grid in your plan. A grid can be created to help you draw objects accurately by providing snap points at designated spacing. To create a grid, we're going to go up to our View menu bar item, and then we're going to go ahead and select the grid option. And here we can select a grid spacing. This is most useful when you have a very regularly spaced columns and slab edges. and be sure to select the Show Grid option. Once we click OK, we're going to see that the grid is appearing on our screen. To use these grid points as snapping locations, you can select which object you want to draw, and then we can use the Snap to Grid icon in our grid toolbar, and we can see that we can snap to these grid locations. Another useful tool which can be used to help you create your model geometry accurately is by importing a CAD drawing. If you have a CAD drawing in a DWG format, you can go ahead and import the drawing directly into RAM concept. We'll go ahead in the File menu, select Import Drawing, and then we're going to navigate to the CAD drawing that we have. Then we're going to go ahead and open up the drawing within RAM concept and it'll go ahead and bring it into the model. Now this drawing is appearing on the drawing import layer. If you would like to see any information from one layer on a different layer, you'd want to go to the layer you want to see. We're going to go to our mesh input plan and we want to see that CAD background. To do that, we're going to go up to our standard toolbar and select our visible objects icon. We're going to select the items from the layer we want to see. So we'll pick Drawing Import, and then we'll say Show All. So everything, every layer that's in that CAD drawing will appear on this screen. And then we'll click OK. Now we can see our CAD background. And we can use any number of the Snap options in our Snap toolbar in order to snap to that CAD background. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.